know, we do have a caller. Shall we bring on a, the caller, see, see what they have going on? Yeah. All right. Hi, you're on the air. Who's this? Hi, huh? this is Claire. Can you hear me? Yeah, hi, Claire. Hi, how are you? We're wonderful. What's on your mind today? Yeah, so I have um, been studying esotericism and metaphysical things for a long time, but have yet to really like make my mark in the community. I feel like I'm holding on a lot of times to actually take action. Um, but I'm actually studying QHHT right now. But in the meantime, I'm unhappy at my job. And I'm just wondering if you have any insight about where I should be landing in the meantime while I launch the QHHT practitioner. Okay, great. Crystal, do you have any words for Claire? Well, <laughs> um, I would say, first of all, um, just intuitively, I think QHHT is, is lighting up. And so that's, that's a good thing for you to pursue. And I do think that is something that brings you um, that elevated energy. And so it feels good and therefore it's going to be good. So that's what I'm getting about the QHHT. So yes to that. But until such time as you can transition, even as a, a part-time gig or a full-time job into QHHT, it's about being able to sustain a higher vibration or to feel your way into a more joyful position in whatever you do and wherever it is that you are. A lot of us focus on the job of a light worker um, as being a vocation of some kind. You know, I'm an intuitive reader or I'm a, a Reiki practitioner, for example, when in actuality it's about the position you take throughout your whole life it's about are you waking up and as soon as your feet hit the floor are you thinking about what a beautiful day lies before you and all the possibilities of that day and when you go to get your coffee in the morning are you smiling to people are you being kind are you filled with love and are you giving love that's light work and I'll tell you if you can pivot away a little bit from trying to get to where you want to go goal wise and focus more on that just being in the joy and being in the love the doors open automatically the networking happens automatically the people you're supposed to meet um, the opportunities happen very seamlessly this goes back to what trisha just said which is seek first the kingdom of heaven which is love god is love seek first the love and all these things are added unto you the way is made for you very effortlessly but the focus isn't qhht the focus isn't like, how do I get out of here and get to there? The focus is, I'm here now. How can I be the love? Mm. I'm here now. How can I express the light? Do that. Figure out how to do that. And all of these other things work themselves out. I would that's, say. that's so true, actually. My mantra all last week was, bloom where you're planted. Bloom mm. where you're planted. Yes. Yes. So, um, yeah, that really is a confirmation for me. Thank you. Oh, I love that. Thank you for sharing that affirmation. I'm writing that down, Claire. <laughs> That's amazing. That is definitely because what we're getting to is unconditional. I mean, God is or the universe is unconditional love. And so as Crystal is saying, and as you're saying, Claire, bloom where you're planted is I'm going to bloom no matter what, no matter whether the condition of where I'm planted, that is a condition. I'm unconditional. And that is the experience that, you know, the QHHT or the job right now that is, you know, the one that you're you're saying I want to leave or I'm unhappy with, it is still it is still just a mode it is it is a an expression. It is subservient to the experience. It is something that is utilized. It's a tool. So if you can if you can be if you can bloom where you're planted at that job, and then just think of how how you could bloom in the fertile soil of fill in the blank. And the point is the blooming. Yes. I love that. Wow. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you, Claire. That was really powerful stuff. Absolutely. Thank you, Claire. That um, bloom where you planted, that's a Texas thing too. I hear that a lot of Texas folks here saying that bloom where you planted. It's so powerful though. And I think it, when you, when you're blooming, all the soil is fertile, <laughs> all the soil is fertile. Like that's when right. You, when it's, it's, it's like it, you can be in like, let me just tell you, um, and Claire, just to sympathize with you, my 2018, let me just be super honest, has kind of sucked. It's been really hard. <laughs> and I've been spending this whole year trying to align back to uh, using my emotions, using my frustrations, using all of that as just a reminder to get back to the bloom position, get back to the joy position. But who it's been a lot of work and sometimes it can be really, really hard. Um, and so I just want to sympathize with you because sometimes life is hard. Mm. But it is always about 
returning to that aligned position because the longer we can hang out there, the easier it actually becomes. It's it's simple, right? The idea, it's simple. Just get back into alignment, Claire. Get back into alignment, Crystal. Bloom where you planted. It's simple, but it's not easy. It can be pretty difficult, especially if you're at a job you don't really like, especially if you're having a year that's really, really hard. But that's the answer. Love is always going to be the answer. And that vibration is always going to lead you exactly where you're supposed to go, mm -hmm. period.